St. James's Park is just outside the city centre, and set on high ground, the stadium can be glimpsed between the high-rise blocks. Pretty impressive entrance. Yes. Well, I suppose the first thing is to go to reception and get permission to go inside the ground. Fans familiar with the ground just a few years ago wouldn't recognize it today. And the most unusual crush barriers to be seen anywhere will no doubt soon disappear as the remaining terraces are developed into seating. Three sides of the ground have now been rebuilt and are fully covered. To fully appreciate the size of the ground, a view from the top of one of the stands, a climb of 127 steps, is necessary. There is still one large hole to be filled at the gallow gate end, which, when completed, will completely shut out the view of Gateshead on the other side of the time. As St. James's Park itself was reconstructed, the manager rebuilt the team. And the evidence of past glories can be seen in the trophy cabinet. The compact museum is well worth a visit, where exhibits cover the period from the early days through the 1950s and on to the present. Kevin Keegan, the current manager, receives a rapturous welcome from the Toon Army on his return to St. James's Park. The writer Cowper once said, Newcastle, let me tell you, sir, has not his equal anywhere. A sentiment that could be applied to St. James's Park in the not too distant future.